Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday the 18th. I'm James Spann. A lot of changes this week, but thankfully for now, the severe weather risk is looking fairly low later this week. Let's go in there and take a look. We'll check with some of the sky cam shots around the network. Early this morning at the insane hour of 5 a.m., that's coming from Tuscaloosa, where it's clear and pretty cold. That's the uh, Jasper sky cam. And down in Chilton County, a look at the Clanton City Hall. Well-defined shortwave is coming out into the Plain States. That brings our next chance of rain after midnight tonight, tomorrow morning. But, yes, pretty cold. I mean, you see numbers like that. Obviously, the air is very stable. And uh, clearly, we're not going to see any recovery for severe weather, at least with this first system tonight. It's cold as 25 in Alabama this morning at Fort Payne. And, by the way, yesterday is cold as 13. That was the low from uh, Black Creek. Northeast of Gadsden from Vic Bell, Fort Payne had 16 yesterday morning. It was very, very cold. Around the nation this morning, we've got uh, parts of North Dakota and Minnesota under a blizzard warning. Also one for parts of northern Maine. But uh, generally speaking, things are fairly calm. In terms of the severe weather threat later today, there is no formal risk, although the guys at SPC do put down low uh, 2% tornado probabilities around the Arklatex. That would include Little Rock, Shreveport, Longview, Tyler, Monroe, Louisiana. Uh, but again, there's no formal risk, and we don't expect any severe weather here tonight. Now, let's look at the next system at midweek. This is the day three convective outlook for Wednesday. There's the standard slight risk of severe weather over parts of Texas. That includes Dallas, Fort Worth, uh, down toward uh, Waco and Austin. And on day four, which is Thursday, Alabama has been taken out of the severe weather risk now it includes basically uh, Louisiana and parts of Mississippi. And uh, the lack of instability is a big deal here. That should uh, probably mean no significant severe weather for us. But we'll look at that in more detail here in just a moment. And this is the rain for the next seven days. This is showing some really big numbers here. The uh, bullseye is around Selma with 6.4 inches. And this is valid through Monday morning of next week. So uh, we could be getting awfully wet here a few times in coming days. We'll check modeling. This is the 06 ZGFS at noon today, and this is at 500 millibars. There's the big trough down below that. A surface low is way north of here, uh, 999 millibars north of Madison, Wisconsin. And on the trailing front, storms should begin to form today. But in terms of our weather, clouds will increase, becoming breezy. Uh, in fact, windy really this afternoon, and the high should be in the low 60s today. This is tonight at midnight. Uh, the uh, batch of storms is moving in here uh, into northwest Alabama. Six o'clock tomorrow morning, it should be raining. A little secondary low forms on the front down to the south of here, but uh, again, the air is not unstable. We just don't expect any severe weather with the main surface low so far north. And then at noon tomorrow, the rain is down to the south and east of here. Uh, really south and east of Montgomery. So again, the main window for rain about midnight tonight through noon tomorrow. Rain amounts of about one half to one inch, and we do not expect any severe weather. And the high tomorrow should be in the middle 50s. Wednesday, uh, that's a 1039 high kind of nosing in here from the north, and that will be uh, noticeably cooler. The high Wednesday should be only in the low to mid 50s, which is below average for this time of the year. And uh, the sky should be sunny. should be hard to find a decent cloud in the sky. But Thursday, here comes our next system. Uh, we've got a deep upper low that's over the middle of the nation on the Kansas-Nebraska border. A secondary impulse is near San Diego. And down below that, uh, we've got a 998 millibar surface low that's on the Oklahoma-Kansas border. And uh, you can see why there would be some risk of severe weather west of here over parts of Louisiana, Arkansas, eastern Texas on Thursday. We'll go to Thursday night at midnight. And the surface low is near Kansas City with a batch of showers and storms uh, in here. But let's look at some of the severe weather parameters. And here's the problem. This is Thursday night at midnight. There is no surface-based instability. The green is where the lift and index goes below zero, and it's just non-existent up here. So uh, much like the event tonight, for now, 
The severe weather risk Thursday night looks minimal. And uh, there's some decent shear. This is the uh, bulk shear uh, from the surface to 850 millibars. But notice how the shear is displaced well to the north of the instability. So things just look out of phase. And for now, it doesn't look like a severe weather problem. And then this is Friday at noon. The front kind of hangs up just below us. So for Friday during the day, the main chance of showers and storms continues over the southern counties of the state. All right, weekend fans, let's take a look. This is Saturday as we start the weekend. And again, uh, evidence the front might get a nudge southward. And if this is correct, Saturday could work out to be a dry day. But let me caution you, we have seen other runs that hang up that surface boundary and kind of keeps us wet during the day Friday and Saturday. So this run looks drier Friday and Saturday. In fact, it looks for, for the northern half of the state dry both days. But that might not be the correct solution. It's a little iffy at this point. And then uh, Sunday, we do go dry, and uh, that should be a pretty decent day. The high should be at or just over 60 based on those uh, thickness values. Uh, let's go out there to Monday of next week. Ooh, that's a big-looking trough to the west, and down below that, a uh, deep surface low is over the upper Midwest, and again, that looks kind of wet and stormy, and again, that's a week from today, the 25th. So you can see multiple rain opportunities along the way, and that's why we could see some pretty decent rain amounts here over the next seven days. A couple of days later, another rain producer looks wet. And the end of the forecast on March 5th, that looks dry, but clearly the pattern looks pretty active here late this month into early March. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock today. And if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day.